If you're looking for tall ISO builds for 2K25, you came to the right place. I'm gonna be showing 6'6 six, six, versus 6'7 six, versus 6'8 six, when it comes to these type of builds. And we even have a little gameplay to show y'all later in the video. Because the goal of this video is to help you get a better idea of what kind of build you're going to make to start 2K25. But keep in mind, we did not know any of the animation requirements except for contact dunks when making these builds at Community Day. Anyways, make sure to drop a like for me putting y'all on and subscribe to the channel. I'm trying to hit that 900k before 2k25 releases but anyways let's get into the video what is good youtube it's your boy henry aka double h back at it with yet another video and hey man we're going to be comparing all these 666768 ISO builds. I highly recommend you not to skip around because if you're a sweat like me and you want to hear about how these cap breakers can make these builds the best builds in the game and you want to hear about how these badge elevators can make your build 10 times better and you want to hear the real comparisons through these 6667 and 68 ISO builds, I would highly recommend listening to what I have to say. But hey, if you want to skip around and just look at the builds and not hear what I have to say, you can go ahead and do that as well. But anyways, if you do want a shorter iso build i already uploaded a 6-3 build that can take screens and iso go check it out if you're interested in that but for my people that want these taller iso builds oh i got a lot of info for y'all today and i'm excited man i'm super excited we're gonna start with this 6-6 height and i actually have three different versions of these 6-6 builds for y'all and then we're gonna move on to 6-7 and then we're gonna move on to 6-8 so starting with the 6-6 you can either go 6'7 wingspan with your 6'6 point guard or 6'10 wingspan. Now, the reason why I say 6'7 is that's going to put you at a 93 three-pointer, and that's where you get gold limitless range. 6'10 is going to put you at an 89 three-pointer, which is going to give you extra wingspan, which is going to help with defense, dunks, rebounding, and you're still going to get that silver limitless range cut off right at an 89 three-pointer. So that's really going to be up to you to decide which way you want to go. But I'm going to show what happens or what your build potentially could look like depending on which way you go with that. So if you do go 6-7 wingspan, this is potentially a 6-6 six, six build you could have. Now, this is a Hall of Fame limitless range 6-6 six, six build. You're probably like, Double H, what are you talking about? Has a 93-3 gold limitless range. Well, guys, when you hit level 30, you can badge elevate a tier one badge. And guess what? Limitless range on gold is a tier one badge. So if you hit level 30, you can have Hall of Fame limitless range on this 6-6 six, six build. So if you were looking to get Hall of Fame limitless range on a taller ISO build, guess what? This is going to be the wingspan you want to go with, and this is going to be the height you want to want to go with, because that's where you're going to get that 93 three-pointer at. And guess what? You're not going to be able to get Hall of Fame limitless range at these taller ISO builds through cap breakers. It's only going to be through badge elevators. So if you want to spend your badge elevator on limitless range, get Hall of Fame limitless range, go ahead and do it at that 93 three-pointer at the 6-7 wingspan. And yeah, this build's looking pretty good. Now, one thing I will say is I did make this build at Community Day before we saw the contact dunk animation requirements, which are subject to change, but I don't think they're going to change. So I would take this build, if you wanna make the Hall of Fame limitless range 6-6 build with the badge elevator, and I would put the dunk down to an 89 and the vertical down to 78. You're probably asking why. Well, here's a screenshot of what most likely will be the contact dunk animation requirements. And there's really no point to go to 9380. Yes, that is for gold posterizer, but you're not getting extra contact dunk animations with that. So I feel like you may as well go 9682 or even 9685 for that Hall of Fame posterizer. So yes, you can stay at this 93 dunk 80 vert, get gold posterizer and have your build look like this. But if you want to save attributes and maybe you wanted a higher pass act, a higher agility, a higher steal, maybe a higher perimeter, maybe even a higher mid-range or layup or whatever, you can easily save attributes by going down to 89 dunk, 78 vert. But just keep in mind you will only have uh you know silver, but just keep in mind you'll only have silver posterizer with that. So if you're a big dunk meter guy, your dunk meter is not gonna be nearly as good with a so it's silver posterizer compared to gold post. But anyways, yeah, this build's looking great. I mean gold posterizer, gold limitless range, which is gonna turn to Hoff if you use the badge elevator on it. You have silver lightning launch. You have gold, all the gold shooting badges, except for um, obviously mini marksman because you're too tall to get that badge. You also get silver perimeter defensive badges. You also get silver steel badges. And you also have a 68 block, 69 interior, allowing you to get some bronze block badges like that chase down badge 
you also are 85 speed 77 agility i mean maybe you want to lower the speed and increase the agility but that's also good as well so yeah this is the best 6-6 hall of fame limitless range build if you want gold posterizer okay otherwise you can lower that and you know do what you will adjust the stats to your liking if you want free throw if you want this or that adjust them but you can kind of base your build off of this now let's say you want to go with version number two of the 6.6 six. you want that higher wingspan and you're willing to go down the silver limitless range so i went ahead put the wingspan up to 610 once again that's going to help you with defense get tests uh, steals gonna help you with dunks gonna help you with rebounding all that stuff now i ended up adjusting you know the defense a little bit of the shooting and you know a little bit of the other stats and this is what my build came out to be with the final stats now before you just this is why i don't recommend people skipping around and pause because what i'm about to say is gonna be insane because if you're someone that plans on unlocking these cap breakers and if you don't know what cap breakers do I'll pop up a screenshot in the corner or something, read it over, or just go watch my other builder breakdown video or news video about the My Player Builder. I fully explain all that stuff in there. This is why you guys need to watch that stuff because otherwise you're just not gonna understand some of the stuff I'm saying in these build videos. Now, whoever made this builder in 2K25 is a very smart man. Cause when I tell you we were literally one attribute away from a build with legend posterizer and gold limitless range, I am not kidding. Now, what I mean by that is as you see your driving dunk when you're at a 610 wingspan can go up to a 98 max potential and cap breakers only work with max potentials. So you would have to go 611 wingspan to have your max potential be a 99 dunk. But if you go 611 wingspan, your three pointer goes down to an 88 and your limitless range goes from silver to bronze. So if at this 610 wingspan, we were be able to get that 99 dunk with a cap breaker, or with a plus three cap breaker on driving dunk and a badge elevator on the three point shot, we would have had legend posterizer and gold limitless range on this build. But unfortunately we don't, but you can still get legend posterizer and silver limitless range on this build. And you can actually do it without even spending a cap breaker. So if we go back to the stats right here, if you want to put the badge elevator on posterizer you will have legend posterizer with this build because we get a 96 dunk and we get that 85 vert now once again you could just settle for the hall of fame posterizer and then put the badge elevator on limitless range and get hall of fame posterizer and gold limitless range which could be a good combo but going back to the 610 wingspan thing if you want to go 611 wingspan and settle for a even lower three-pointer for bronze limitless range you could put a plus three cap breaker on that driving dunk get 99 driving dunk and unlock all of the contact dunks in the game because we're missing one with that 96 dunk and get legend posterizer and then put a badge elevator on limitless range and get silver limitless range so yeah there's a lot of ways you can go about this if you are using your cap breakers but screw the cap breakers let's just talk about the final version of this 6-6 legend posterizer build we already showed the hall of fame limitless range one with a badge elevator but hey this one regardless of what you do you're gonna get that 96 dunk 85 vert you're gonna get all the contact dunks in the game at 6-6 except for the elite contacts off one you're gonna get hall of fame posterizer you're gonna have an 89-3 which is gonna give you that silver limitless range the other silver shooting badges 86 ball handle, 69 pass sack, 75 speed of ball. You're going to have silver perimeter badges with that 85 perimeter. 79 steel is going to give you that silver steel badges. 68 block is going to give you that high flying denier on bronze, which is like chase down artist. And then you have decent speed, decent agility, and an 85 vertical. And you also get the standing dunks with that 46 standing dunk. Now, if you do ever hit level 30, this build's going to even be better. You can get legend posterizer by putting the badge elevator on the Hall of Fame posterizer, making it go to legend. Or you can keep it at Hall of Fame post riser, put it on lim the badge elevator on limitless range, put that to gold. Not only that, but you do get a tier two badge elevator at level 15, and you can put that on high flying denier. So you get silver chase on this build as well. The, with an 85 vertical, that's gonna be kind of nasty. And also here are all the takeovers the 6-6 gets. If you guys wanna look over this, pause, I highly recommend. It does unlock nine takeovers by the way the 6-3 build i made unlocks 21 takeovers once again that proves how crazy that build was 
Anyways, yeah, look over those takeovers. But yeah, this 6-6 build ended up being a two-way inside-out score. Now let's go on to version number three of the 6-6. Now this is very similar to version number two. I just adjusted a couple stats around. Once again, you can put a free throw on these builds. You can put a pass tag. You can adjust the build to your liking. You don't have to copy it exactly how I did it. I'm just trying to give you guys a better idea of what kind of build you are capable of making at these certain heights in 2K25 to kind of help y'all out to maybe decide on what height you're going to go with in 2K25. Anyways, so this is exactly like the version number two build, except we went down on the pass stack all the way to a 65 and we went up on the block and we went up on the interior defense and a little up on the speed, a little uh, down on the agility. So we just put some more defense into it and less pass tag bait. Because with that 74 block, you will be able to get bronze paint patroller and the bronze high flying denier. So just a little better defense. But anyways, yeah, let me know in the comments when it comes to 6-6, do you like the Hall of Fame Limitless Range Badge Elevator version? Or do you like the Hall of Fame Posterizer X Gold Limitless Range or slash the Legend Posterizer Silver Limitless Range version number two slash three? of the build let me know what would you rather have let me know in the comments but anyways it's time to move on to six foot seven builds now if you guys did watch my my player breakdown video you guys do know that the taller the build you make the less attributes you get but we're already so tall at this point that it's like we're just getting less attributes in those six three five nine builds to the point where it's not even noticeable really too much between 6'6 six, six and 6'8 six, and 6'7. Six, but with these 6'7 builds, I ended up going with minimum weight and 6'7 wingspan. Now, the reason I went 6'7 wingspan is I really wanted at least silver limitless range on these taller builds. You can go higher wingspan if you want to go down the bronze limitless range. But personally, I want that 89 three pointer. I want that silver limitless range at the 6'7 height. So I went 6'7 wingspan. Now, to be honest, if you like ISO builds with more defense and pass accuracy and a little less on some of the other st important stats, you're going to like this 6'7 height better than the 6'6. So, anyways, the first thing I ended up doing was upgrading my driving dunk to an 89 and my vertical to a 78, which is going to give us that silver post riser. And it's also going to allow us to get a couple dunk packages or contact dunk packages now the second thing i did is put the ball handle to the to an 86 and put the speed with ball to a 75 this is going to give us really all the necessary silver playmaking badges and then just for now i put the pass act to a 71 for silver dimer but i'm going to end up increasing it even more later on then i put my three pointer to an 89 for that silver limitless range then I put the Perim D to an 85, the Steel to a 79, the Block to a 74, which is going to give us Silver Perimeter and Steel badges. And it's also going to give us that High Flying Denier badge. Now, I also upgraded the Speed, a little of the Agility. Then I upgraded some more Pass Sack. And I even got away with upgrading some more Perimeter Defense and Interior Defense. Now, look at this build right quick. This is looking really good. So once again, Silver Posterizer, Silver Limitless Range, silver dribbling badges like silver unpluckable silver lightning launch silver handles for days all the silver shooting badges like i said silver dimer but you do have a 78 pass tag, so your passing is going to be faster but you also get bronze versatile visionary which is kind of like bronze needle threader which is good 78 pass tag, that's good to have that bad not only that but you get gold challenger and gold on ball menace and hall of fame off ball pest so your perimeter badges on this six seven are really good not only that but you get bronze paint patroller which is kind of like the rim protector this year so that's going to be really good for blocks once again you get the silver steel badges and you also get bronze high flying denier and you get the 81 speed 80 agility you have the good vertical you do get the 40 standing dunk and you don't you don't have to go 45 you really just need that two hand standing dunk at 40 standing dunk so that's going to be more than good enough but guys, I mean, this build, if you want to go 6-7, you like the higher pass act, you like the higher perimeter defense, this is going to be a better option than you than the 6-6s. Six Not only that, but think about how good it is to have this bronze paint patroller. Like, it's a tier 2 badge, so you can put your level 15 badge elevator for tier 2 badges on paint patroller, and you can get silver paint patroller on this 6-7 with just a 74 block, which is really good. And then not only that, but you could put your badge, your tier one badge elevator on on ball menace and get hall of fame on ball menace, which is like clamps, or you can get hall of fame challenger, 
or if you still want to put it on limitless range or post riser you can get one of those badges on gold by the way this build also gets silver ankle assassin but yeah so if you're more of a defensive guy this could be a crazy good lockdown six seven build for y'all which is uh, but obviously it's still an iso build but the defense is just a lot crazier but yeah there go all the badges and also here are all the takeovers this six seven gets and yeah take a look at these takeovers the six seven gets because it doesn't get the same amount of takeovers as the six six it actually only gets eight takeovers instead of nine so definitely want to take a look at those and yeah make sure to screenshot pause look those over make sure once again you're looking at the takeover abilities and what the actual attributes give at each level one through five and yeah this build ends up being compared to jalen suggs gilbert arenas and tyrese halliburton and it is called a two-way three-level scoring threat so let me know in the comments do you guys like the six seven build better do you guys like the six six hoff limitless range build better or maybe you like the 6-6 Legend Posterizer build better. Anyways, let's move on to the 6-8. All right, so with 6 eights, you actually have to make a shooting guard this year. So yeah, you can't make a 6-8 point guard. So make sure you are aware of that when you are in the builder. Uh, I ended up going with minimum weight on this 6-8. And then I ended up going 6-8 wingspan. Now, I didn't end up finishing at 6-8 wingspan because as you can see, I upgraded my three-pointer and I realized, hey, it only goes to an 88. That's one below limitless range on silver so yeah six eights cannot get silver limitless range unless they use a badge elevator on it so that kind of sucks so i was like okay i may as well get higher wingspan then so i went all the way to seven foot wingspan but then i realized yo i can't get a 92 mid-range and at a 92 mid-range i can get gold dead eye because if i'm gonna have an 83 three-pointer I'd like to do what a lot of 2K24 good builds did and get that high mid range so I could still unlock a lot of those good shooting badges at this 6'8 height. So I ended up going with 6'11 wingspan, which, yeah, I'm only going to go in 83 three pointer for that bronze limitless, but that 92 mid range is why we went with the 6'11 wingspan. So we have minimum weight, 6'8, 6'11 wingspan, which is still very good wingspan. And I went 83 three pointer for that bronze limitless range and 92 mid range which is going to give us gold dead eye on this 68 and gold set shot specialist now i feel like dead eyes are really good badge are going to be a really good badge in 2k25 because those hop jumper cancels those step back shots and it just looks like you could shoot over people again like dead eye just i feel like that's gonna be an important badge so on this 68 it's definitely a badge that i'm interested in having the next thing i did is i went to 89 dunk 78 vert so we can get those contact dunk packages and so we can get silver post riser then i started upgrading the defense like crazy i'm talking 84 block 79 steel 85 prim 70 interior then i put the ball handle to an 86 the speed with ball to a 75 the pass sack to a 71 and dude i was only a 97 overall at that point so i was like hey we got some more stats to spend here this is looking nice so i upgraded the speed upgraded a couple other things and this is what I ended up ending with. So this 6'8 build, obviously the height is gonna be an advantage. The wingspan is gonna be an advantage. You're still gonna get contact dunks with this silver post riser. You have your standing dunk packages with this build. 92 midi, hey, you're definitely gonna be able to spam midi fades. You still have bronze limitless range. You have good pass sack to get that bronze uh, visionary badge. You have the silver ankle assassin, the other silver unpluckable, silver, silver lightning launch dribbling badges, but you still have good defense. Like we're talking silver paint patroller, bronze chase down, silver high flying denier and bronze pogo sticks. So the blocking is going to be crazy. Plus we got the silver steel badges with silver gloves, silver interceptor. We have the silver perimeter badges with silver on ball menace, silver challenger with good, with solid interior defense. We have a 70 interior defense. We have a 79 speed, 76 agility, 78 vertical. Now the problem is I'm one defense rebound off bronze rebound chasers. So honestly, I don't hundred percent remember at community day, maybe being this close to rebound chaser, but yeah, go ahead, edit around this build, get that rebound chaser if you can or maybe just completely take off that defense or rebound as low as you can without it affecting another stat and putting more towards speed or agility. If you want to put on free throw, go ahead and do that. Maybe you want to lower the pass sack and you want to make this more of a ones, twos kind of build. Go ahead and do that as well. Not only that, but make sure you take a look at the takeovers it unlocks because this, out of all the builds in this specific video, 
gets the most takeovers. This build gets 12 takeovers. Now, it's not like the 6-3 build in my other video that gets 21 takeovers, which is insane, but it still gets a lot of takeovers. So make sure to pause, look over all the takeovers it gets, see if the takeover that you want in there is there and if you don't know all the takeovers go watch my my player breakdown video where we show all 72 takeovers with their takeover abilities so you can kind of find the exact takeover you want to get but anyways this build ends up being compared to eddie jones dejounte murray and alex caruso but before we complete this build the badge elevators could be good with this build too like i feel like the taller builds like this 6.8 or 6.7 have like good badges in the tier 2 section that you could use that level 15 badge elevator and it's again with this build right here like you can put that tier 2 badge elevator at level 15 towards high flying denier and get gold high flying denier and then with the tier 1 badge elevator on this build hey hall of fame dead eye on this build could be crazy but something else that y'all may have noticed this build also gets gold shifty shooter because we upgraded the agility dude you can get hall of fame shifty shooter on a 6-8 with the badge elevator i feel like that's pretty crazy right i mean hey it's up to y'all i would definitely use it on dead eye or shifty shooter with this build or maybe even gold post riser to be honest if you're a big dunk meter guy but anyways this build ends up being compared to eddie jones dejounte murray and alice crusoe and it is called a two-way three-level shot creator hopefully one of these builds ended up getting you a better idea of what kind of build you are making in 2K25. And please let me know your thoughts in the comments. Now, obviously none of these builds are completely finalized because we don't know all the animations and stuff and what those requirements are besides really the contact dunks and even those could be changed. Now I do have some my core gameplay for some of these builds. This in particular is the 6-7 some of them i just didn't get to like practice around with i didn't have enough time with all the stuff i wanted to record in the period of time we were given to play the game at community day but yeah i mean i wouldn't even judge any of this gameplay anyways i'm just throwing this in there just so y'all could see something i mean there i have default dribble moves on default jump shot default dunk packages default everything so i have nothing equipped so it's not like i could test how fast the build was or the dribble moves of the build or how the build moves or anything the only thing i was really test was like testing was the dunk meter right here this is the 6-6 six, six build with a 96 dunk um so yeah that was really the only thing i could test was the dunk meter and then i guess just shooting wide open with a default jump shot like there really wasn't anything to test and to be honest i don't even know if i had badges in this because my badges are never popping up in the top right so i'm assuming that not only do I have no dribble moves, no dunk packages, no jump shot or anything, I'm assuming I have no badges either, but look at the contact dunk I just got with a 96 dunk. That's with no contact dunks equipped. That's with literally no bet, nothing, bro. That's with nothing. Imagine with like the badge elevator of freaking legend posterizer or something like, I feel like... <laughs> Yo, it could get wicked out here, y'all. And it's not like the dude I was playing against had, like, no interior. I think he had, like, a 65 interior defense. And he was also on, like, a similar type of build. Um, But, yeah, I mean, like I said, I wouldn't judge too much of this gameplay. Like, it's literally just 1v1 my core. Who even knows what the difficulties on here? We have no clue. Uh... But I mean, yeah, I was still getting the dunk. I was going crazy with the dunk meters when I was open shooting the ball with this terrible jump shot. I mean, I was hitting. I mean, if you put a custom jump shot on, you're going to be chilling. I mean, obviously, all the builds I showed in today's video have great shooting stats. So if you can't shoot with these builds, then you might want to pack it up. But yeah, uh, shooting open with the default jump shot, greening some shots. I even you probably saw the back fade already or it's coming up right here. I'm shooting midi fades already. I'm just doing BS right here. I don't even know how that just went in. Just throwing up contested spin layups, spamming the dunk meter once again. It is kind of weird with that dunk meter not having a visual green window, but I was, I was, I'm already so used to using the dunk meter that I don't even need to see the window. Like I just know when the time that it's like basically the same timing every time. But yeah, I mean, I felt good with the dunk meter in here with no contact dunk packages. Like, I'm just excited to get, and by the way, this is the 6'6 with a 93 three-pointer. I didn't end up playing anybody with this build though. And I never even ended up playing anybody with the 6'8 either. But the point is, I'm just really excited to use 
the dunk meter if i make that 96 dunk build with that hall of fame posterizer then legend posterizer if i use the badge elevator because bro even with an 89 dunk i'm excited to use it because uh, i mean i was getting some good contact dunks there with literally no packages equipped like imagine when i have the packages equipped like i said like it, it it got me excited bro okay but yeah let me know what is your favorite build from this video or maybe let me know in the comments what build you're going to take and then like adjust like certain stats or something in the comments below check out the other build videos on the channel that we're coming out with from community day drop a like on the video subscribe to the channel i'm trying to hit that 900k before 2k25 it's been your boy henry aka double h and i'm out of here y'all peace